Hey everyone, it's Danielle from NAC with a quick NAC tip. Now today I wanted to talk about navigating the page preview in the pages section of your builder. So when you're building out your app, here I have a project management app, you'll be able to come to the pages section and see all of your pages listed in this page tree and you'll be able to see the page preview for your currently selected page. So before I jump into this pre page preview too much, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the page tree. So as you navigate the page, page tree to view an individual page, it's just clicking around and it's going to show that page in the page preview over here. Now, to understand how this is organized, so anytime you add a new page, it's going, which is just done with this button up here, it'll come in as a starting page. What we mean when we say starting page is it's just that top level page um, and it's not going to have any pages that are its parent. So, that also brings up another terminology that you might hear us say a lot, which is parent and child pages. So, for example, this project page has a child page that is a details view. So what we mean here is I'm currently viewing the project page, and you can come over and see um, I have a link to view more details on this table. And what that's linking to is this project details view over here. So that's the parent page and the child page. It's also important to note that a single page can be both a parent and a child page, technically. So for example, here we have the project details page. This is a child page of projects, but it is also a parent page to the edit project page. So just something to keep in mind in terms of terminology and how to view your page tree. Now, also as far as uh, child pages go. So as you're as you're building out your your pages, here we have this project details page, and we have a menu view down here that's linking to some other child pages. With these orange arrows, these will not appear in your live app. These are just to help you navigate as you're building your app. And clicking on one of these will take you to that child page in the page tree. So you can see it's taking me over here to this costs child page. All right, so let's go back to this project details page and talk a little bit about the page preview. So in terms of navigating the page preview, you have a few options up here. So currently it's showing live data. This means it's showing data stored in the app. So for example, it's showing a record for blog writing right now for this project. I can change it to market development and you'll see that it's updated um, this, this details view and I can now see, uh, get a little example of what it looks like for a specific record in my app. However, down here, you'll notice that it still just says sample. So employee sample, task name sample, and that's because these are actually showing um, connected objects. So that tasks is a connected object to projects. So just keep in mind that um, sometimes you'll still see these sample, uh, the sample text if it's showing a connected field. You can also use sample data. And for this type of sample data, it's really just going to be some random data to help you get an idea of what your page looks like. It's in no way related to your app, so you don't need to worry about what is actually showing in terms of content. It's just giving you an example of what that's going to look like. So I'm going to go back to use live data here. Okay, now another helpful tool to using your, um, using your page preview are the view names. So with this icon right here, you can turn the view names on and off. Now these are internal only, so they'll, they're will they a really helpful tool, if especially if you're building with a lot of other people on your team working on your app, that helps you just get an idea of what exactly this view is meant to show. So this is really just here to help you um, define exactly what is showing. You can change this text to anything. It's not going to show to your users. It's just for internal use. And you can toggle these on and off whenever you'd like. Accidentally opened up the edit details. Okay, so um, I'm also gonna show you this icon right here. So if you have a large page that has a lot of views or maybe views that show a lot of records, you can expand and collapse. And this page doesn't do a great job of showing that. Let's go over to this one. So this page, for example, the milestones table is showing quite a bit. Um, and you can use this expand and collapse option to just be able to make your, your page a little bit easier to view, your page preview a little bit easier to navigate, um, especially if we're working with a lot of views or views showing a lot of records. Okay, so that sums up these options right here. Um, let's talk a little bit about your page preview in terms of when you're actually editing your views. So let's edit this active projects table. So you see we have keyword search, exporting, let's say I want to go ahead and remove those. Um, you can see that is automatically shown what that looks like over there. 
Uh, maybe I want to change the summary to, um, let's just say, total sum. You'll see that automatically take place over there. Now, I haven't saved yet, so this actually has not updated for the live app. So you'll be able to make these changes and get an idea of what it looks like before you're actually pushing these changes into your live app. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and actually save these. Um, and if you come in here, let's say we want to make another change to status field um, and add the display rule. So here we have that display rule showing that this is what's turning those green. Um, this is a little cramp to work in, so you can actually expand this. That makes it easier, especially if you're working with things like rules, just to give you a little bit more room as far as um, building out your rules. Um, so while we're here, let's just go ahead and change this to, um, let's just change this to red, red orange. All right, so you see that it has already been shown in my page preview over here. I think it looks okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and save those changes. Um, the same thing goes for building things like details views, form views, where you're grouping fields. So let's edit this project details view. Let's add a few more fields so we can see it in the page preview. So let's just go ahead and maybe add, um, oh, I already had about one, let's add budget to the top, maybe like a final status to the top. And you can see I have an example of what this looks like in the page preview before I actually save it. So I'm going to go ahead and save these so that it'll show, there we go. Okay, so um, the last thing I wanted to talk about in terms of working in your, in your page preview uh, is rearranging your views. So here you can see we have two table views next to each other and I can further rearrange these. So let's say I wanna bring this, uh, this table up over here next to this form. Uh, maybe I wanna move these just to the top of the page. So I'm moving this menu view over here to the very top of the page. I'm gonna put that below this actually. There we go. All right, so let's just uh, view this in the live app. So um, let's refresh to see our changes. All right, so you can see I've moved this project view over here. You can see those extra fields that I added when I was working in that details view. I've moved the, the menu view up here. You will notice that there's some extra space in between these as compared to the page preview. And that's just because our, our apps are actually responsive to the screen size in which they're being displayed in. So for example, here, the page preview is in a much smaller space. I'm working on a larger monitor. So it's this view is actually being expanded a little bit. If I were to change the window size, um, these spaces would fill in a little bit. So that's just an instance of the page preview is going to do its best to give you an example of what this looks like. But sometimes there might be a little bit of changes just like this, depending on the screen size of, who, of what, um, what your user is viewing on. All right, well, I hope that helps. This is a little bit about using the page preview in the pages section of the builder. Uh, until next time, happy building.